So welcome back to chapter 5, lecture number 22. So we created these roof tiles in the previous lecture and what I'd like to do is add them on every roof we have. So we have the shed, we want to add them on the left, the right and the bottom. On these small roofs, on the other side of the building, so a lot of things, a lot of roof tiles. I won't do this step by step because you know how this works, but I just want to give you some some tools how to do this when you work on a different side. So I select this row, press Shift V, and we rotate it. Press R, press Control, and rotate it in 180 degrees, and you drag this on the level you want it. So I use this bottom as a reference GY something like this looks good but then we have this transition so select the bottom ones control L and now I want to go to the side view all right and I drag this to the top and I have a preview of what we have it's not perfect so it should be blend bit better yeah and GY okay GX hey we continue to make one more roof tail for the bottom there's not really a sort of a workflow I have with duplicated just want to have them on the right spot. So the problem I have with this part of the roof is that my late final roof tile is not fitting the um, the end. So I have to uh, change the roof. Go to the face mode, and we select these faces. go a lot of small face areas and let's take a look so toot, 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 toot. as you can see I have to find where this row is she why if it is rotated or not no it seems like it isn't and it's leaking ah that's the leaking side look at that there we have it very good too. So we want to have this side to be right, G, Y, and the top one. Let's go for a full one. All right. So much better. Sometimes you have to do this tweaking. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five. So my solution is select these roof tiles, Control L, and make them smaller make them fit GY center these so they hit it and that one is stretched and that should be a bit smaller um, as no the best way of doing this is go to the wireframe go to the object mode or the uh, vertex selection mode go solid now go to render view just merge it it's a very small addition but definitely worth it and I want to have one more shift the but this is why I spent one extra lecture on the roof tiles because it's not simply rotating roof tiles to the other side you will face some challenges and you need to solve them all right so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven roof tiles. I call this, uh, yeah, good. <laughs> so I want to duplicate that one and move this to the left. That should fit GY, oh, GX. And I think that we have a challenge GX. All right, there we go. 
what I like to do is select these individual roof tiles and move them a bit more to the center. All right. And you can change the uh, UVs so you won't have the, the repeating texture look. Very important. So just change some of them. You don't need to change all of them. The final one, Control L, and that's pretty, pretty good. All right, go back to your render view and you want to have the bottom row. For this, I will just select the front one. Ah, we need to, let's make the one object of these as well. Two, three, four, five. Let's, let's do something quickly. Uh, like this. Now we have to deselect, oh, control B. Just hide all the objects. So we only have roof tiles and then we just join them together. We duplicate it, we rotate it, R, control. Ah, you can see, we just had one extra. Let's remove that one, control L, remove this so we only have roof tiles and we merge this on the roof and now we have to make it fit and take a look at the render view as you can see these looks much smaller so we have to make them smaller as well GY there's the transition GZ, GY, GZ, bang, that's it. All right, so an exercise for you. I went roof tiles on this part, on the ends, and I went roof tiles on this shed and uh, these small roofs. That will take some time, um, but you now know how to do that. So uh, I hope it works out. And if you do not succeed, you can download this finished uh, roof tile model uh, in the download section. So don't be afraid if you have a lot of ch challenge, but at least try it. It's, it's definitely worth it. Okay, I will pause the video. And welcome back. So we have roof tiles on all the sides of the roof, on the shed and small roofs. And if we go to the solid view, you can see it in detail. And yeah, well, that's pretty much it. What you can do, um, maybe you don't have this, but I have this bar issue. So I probably need to put this in the right position. So it won't, there's just a little thing more. There you go. But uh, yeah. This is our roof tile model. So we have wooden bars, roof tiles. Uh, we're not there yet because we need to do material uh, tweaking and we have to, to focus on the, on the small window. But we're getting there. The small farmhouse is getting shape and uh, it's almost a finished model. So see you in the next lecture. Bye bye.